Banning plastic bags. This is what city leaders in Sarasota are talking about if legislation makes its way through the Senate and passes. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee spoke with folks who say it will help make an impact on the city's beaches. Okay, he's going to come up. Here we go. David Pilston knows how to help a pelican out. Come on, get a stick. That gift will be presented to a female pelican who will place it in her nest, making the male pretty popular. Pilston is in the business of treating these birds like royalty, which is why he doesn't like to see anything hurt them. Over time, plastic bags are killing them. It is very upsetting. It's, it's actually sickening to see that, that these birds, you know, it, this is not their fault that they're, that they're running into this. They're just trying to survive. Talks of giving smaller cities like Sarasota the choice to ban plastic bags is happening now in Tallahassee, and the city has taken notice. So has Pilston. It's very easy to use reusable bags when you're shopping. Um, also, as far as plastic bottles, it's easy to recycle. Pilston estimates that nearly every single bird here has ingested plastic at some point in its life, and because it does not digest, it could remain in their stomachs for years. Every bit of plastic that's ever been manufactured still exists. It just it never goes away. It just breaks down into smaller and smaller pieces. So there are pieces of microplastics on every beach in the world. Every beach in the world, they have found plastic. Pilston hopes more people will start to recycle. He also hopes the ban takes place soon. In Sarasota, Heather Lee, ABC Action News. The Senate bill is quite a ways off from a vote. It's currently making its way through committees. But if you'd like to weigh in, we want to hear from you. Go to our Facebook page. We have a live poll up right now. I just shared it on my Facebook page. You can click like for yes or the angry emoji for no.